I'll show you four ways to earn 10K a month this year, whether you're an experienced entrepreneur or just starting out on your money making journey. I've made sure the methods here will help you make money online. So let's get started. The first way is the one that I use to go from $60,000 of debt to making millions of dollars all from my laptop. So listen carefully, okay? Drop servicing is a business model where you offer a service to your clients, but instead of doing the work yourself, you outsource it to a third party while still maintaining control. It's similar to drop shipping, but instead of physical products, you're offering digital services. So for example, let's say you offer website design services. A client contracts you asking for a website design. Instead of doing the work yourself, you outsource it to a skilled web designer. You negotiate a price with a client that is higher than what you pay the third party provider and you keep the difference as your profit. Now, to get started with your first drop servicing business, you need to follow these practical steps here, okay? Choose a niche, select a service such as graphic design, or video editing and choose a niche that you have knowledge about or are interested in ideally but otherwise just any any popular one will do that you can find on Fiverr. Next research and identify third-party providers who are experts in your chosen niche. Look for providers who have excellent reviews, quality work and affordable prices on websites like Fiverr.com. Then we're going to create a website or a social media page like a LinkedIn profile where you can actually showcase what you've got to offer and we're going to start marketing using a free method like cold email or social media outreach. Next, we're going to hire salespeople to close the calls for us or set up a page where we can sell our services for under a thousand dollars using paid advertising later on. So there are many options with drop servicing for how you do it in terms of the marketing channel you're going to use, the price point, the strategy, the services and the niches. And there are really many options with it. But if you want more detail on that, you can check out the free training in the description below this video where I literally teach you for two hours how to start your drop servicing business, including tutorials and templates. The next method is drop shipping. Now, if you've heard me talk about drop shipping before, you know there are a few challenges with it because it's a very popular business model. Everybody is getting into it right now. So because of that popularity, there's a lot of competition, which just means that you need to be a little bit smarter. You can't go after all the same products that everyone else is selling. To give you an example, I met a guy the other day who was a drop shipper and they were selling Gothic clothing on Google, okay? So there's pretty random products you can find out there that still make a bit of money. But what I've seen people make the most money with is actually selling products to businesses. So for example, selling coffee machines to cafes or selling barbers chairs to barbers or mannequins to clothing stores. These are all great opportunities for dropshippers that not many dropshippers really think about because most dropshippers I see tend to focus on products that they're selling to consumers. There's very small profit margins in that and the prices that you can sell them for are also very low. So you need to sell thousands of products to make a profit. But when you're selling a coffee machine, for example, that you can drop ship, you can sell that for you know thousands of dollars, which means that your profit margins are a lot higher per sale. And there's a lot less competition with these because not everybody is really thinking about doing that. So you can definitely make 10K a month with drop shipping, but there are a few challenges like I mentioned. First, there's so much competition like I was saying, but focus on those high ticket products. Another Another example is dentist chairs, okay? Because if you focus on high ticket products, you will avoid the competition with drop shipping. Affiliate marketing is basically when you advertise someone else's products and get paid a commission from every sale that occurs through your advertisement. So if you've ever clicked on a link at the bottom of YouTuber's video, you can be almost certain that it was an affiliate link. So to make the most of affiliate marketing, you'll need an audience. Now, how you choose to grow this is ultimately up to you, but the two main methods that I would advise are a blog and a YouTube channel. So to use affiliate marketing through a blog, you'll first need to pick a specific niche that has low competition and high search volume. It's very important to niche down as much as you can. So instead of going for something like a travel blog, you can be a little bit more specific like budget, backpacking, travel blog, right? And once you've found your niche, write around 20 to 30 posts for SEO purposes, and this will allow you to get some organic traffic. And then from there, you can sign up with an affiliate partner like Amazon on, drop a few links in each post and watch the money come in. Now, if you're not much of a writer, building a YouTube channel might be the better option. So the formula for building a YouTube channel is very similar. You post regularly, improve your content over time. And once you've built trust with an audience, you drop your affiliates in each video description. Now, affiliate marketing is probably one of the hardest to start. However, if you really get your blog or YouTube channel up and running, your efforts will be rewarded. Copywriting is an art form of selling through the written work. 
it. Now, every advertisement you've ever read or seen out there was written by a copywriter at some stage, and people are making life-changing amounts of money with it. It's one of the most underrated methods to get rich in 2024, and if you can master the art of copywriting, your future will only be fulfilled with success. Now, you're probably thinking, you know, ChatGPT has replaced copywriters now, right? But really, it's just become a tool that has enabled copywriters to write much more content at a much higher level of quality. So sure, that does lower the overall price you could once get, but now you can actually sell a lot more at a higher volume with less employees, lowering your costs and increasing your profits in a copywriting business. So the best way to get clients is cold emailing local businesses. You can go on Google Maps, make a spreadsheet, find all of the businesses in your area, then get the email addresses and send them a personalized email offering your services. You could even send them a free piece of copy like an Instagram ad that you wrote to help them understand the value you can bring. You're not going to get a reply from everyone, right? But you only need a few clients to hit $10,000 a month. And here's the awesome thing about copywriting is you don't need to charge an hourly fee. So you're not working for an hourly rate anymore. Think about it, you know, if you can bring an extra $100,000 in sales in for a company, it's not unreasonable to ask for $10,000. You can also ask for a retainer fee in which you provide a certain amount of work to a business in exchange for a fixed monthly fee. So if you charge 2.5K per month per client, you only need four clients to hit 10K a month, okay? So it's pretty cool, it's pretty easy, and it's cheap to start with cold emailing to get your first sales. So don't underestimate the power of copywriting. People are still making money with this, and the potential is really endless. Now listen, if you wanna go deeper into how I personally make money online, check the free training in the description below this video. Otherwise, if you have any questions at all, leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.